好，我是千鸟，今天要为大家带来的是《全境封锁资料篇》。我们接下来就来看看接下来的这个电话录音，感染爆发前夕。Hey son, what's up? Not a chilling. You wanna do this thing today? Yeah, I guess we can. Better now before shit gets too crazy. All right. Well, let's meet in the alley and head over from there. All right. See you in ten. Yep. Sis Joe、sure、will be happy to have her toilet fixed. 还以为他们要做什么坏事。O M G! Did you see Arya's new video? Holy shit! It's so awesome. I can't believe her look. Did you hear she's dating the singer from that Swedish band? What? No way. He's on fleek. His hair is gorgeous. I love him so much. She's like the luckiest girl in the world. Get off the phone. You have to come see what's on the news. I gotta go, babe. Mom's getting jelly. Love you. Wait. Okay. Okay. See you later. Call me. 应该叫他来看感染的新闻。What do you have for me? Car crash on Madison. Huge pile up. Got some nice close-ups of the bodies too. That's it? Well, yeah, it's good stuff. Blood and guts all over the pavement. You're wasting your time. We got hospitals, riots, sick kids. Give me some of that, and you'll make the news. All right. I'll see what I can do. 感觉说这种照片是好东西，就有一点。Can't answer right now, but please leave a message. Hi, honey, it's your mom. I just wanted to let you know we're in a cab on our way into the city now. I know we said we wouldn't, but your dad managed to find a really nice deal for a hotel, and we both just wanted to see you. What with everything that's going on, traffic's a nightmare as usual. But seems a lot worse going out of the city on a Tuesday. Isn't that odd? Anyway, call us back as soon as you get this. We'll see you soon. Bye. How sweet! Oh, that one came out of nowhere. Damn, these game things are expensive. What's a kid supposed to do with a four hundred dollar game box thing anyway? They need something good in their lives, babe. It's been a tough year. I know. Listen, how about you and me? We just give each other cards this year. I mean, do we really need more stuff? Really? I just want a family, honey. Just get your kids to call me mom, and I'll be good. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're gonna be Janet for a long while. You don't think this console will do the trick? <laughs> we'll see. Love you, sweet thing. <laughs> you have to come. What's so great about this place? Oh my God, it's incredible. The whole club is like a hospital. And you sit in wheelchairs, and you drink out of IV tubes. And if you want snacks, they bring them to you in bedpans. With everyone getting that flu, it's like in the worst taste ever. Jesus, you're seriously no fun since you hooked up with Max. At least I'm not eating out of bedpans, bitch. Nah. No, I'm not kidding. I'm sick to death of smelling other people's garbage, and like, I can't even stand on the subway anymore without some urban dance troupe gyrating in my face. And cabs? God, I might as well be driving a car myself. Oh please, you know you love it here, honey. You are here, and I love you. That's different. Yeah, he sneezed into my mouth. What? And you know what's weird? It wasn't even my worst date this week. Okay, now you have to come to Brew Place on Saturday. It's in Brooklyn. You learn to make your own craft beer. We're all going. Craft beer in Brooklyn hipsters? Is this 2012? Navid is into you, big time. I'm putting you on the list. Then Blue Collin 不是也悲剧了吗？不过我们在布鲁克林新手新手特工训练的时候，那边也不是很安全，就是。I bought the farm. Say what? Okay, I bought a farm, 40 acres out in Virginia. You're kidding? Right up in the Blue Ridge. It's mostly cleared with a, a little bit of woods out back, and, and there's a farmhouse. I'm gonna raise chickens. You're a city boy. You won't last a week out there. I may not last a week here. Goddamn bug has sent four people in my building to the hospital. One of them died. I'm getting out while I can, and you should too. Precinct Detective Mercer speaking. 
I hear you're looking for me, detective. Dr. Trace, why are you calling me? Because I like to watch you run in circles. <laughs> We're gonna catch you, pal. You'd better believe it. Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. You trace that? Yeah. Phone's registered to some 15-year-old kid in Hackensack. Just another wannabe trying to get famous on someone else's kills. He gets old, man. <laughs> out of ham? How can I be out of ham for Christmas? No ham, no turkey, no meat. At least unspoiled. The woman said they'd have a delivery in two weeks. <sighs> we could do a nut roast, I guess. Well, that doesn't sound very Christmassy. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Or at least an oven broiler. What's more Christmassy than that? Hey, what about hot dogs? We have some of those. We could cut them up into chunks, wrap them in biscuit dough from a tube, and call them pigs in a blanket. Hot dog chunks for Christmas dinner? <laughs> Just like all. that intended. Come on, we can sell this. You know the kids will love it. Okay. Hot dog chunks it is. I'm dreaming of a chunky Christmas. Okay, people, listen up. I've been getting a lot of questions about this Directive 51 thing and the people with the orange wristwatches and with all the other crap we got going on. Nobody knows what the hell's going on. Well, today's your lucky day because I'm going to give you the short version and after this, no excuses. Right, so, first things first. Yes, we got to do it. Directive 51 comes right off the president's desk, which means it's totally on the up and up. Someone invokes it, you listen. What does it say? It says a lot of things, but the part that matters is this. Certain people are now authorized to do whatever the hell it takes to clean up the big messes. Nuclear, biological, chemical attacks, pandemics, giant monsters, that sort of thing. As you might have guessed, their current situation qualifies. They're called the Division, and they're being activated as we speak. How do you know who they are? Look for those damn orange circles. You see the glow, then you'll know. <laughs> Who are these people? According to Directive 51, they're sleeper agents recruited from the civilian population to be activated only when the shit well and truly hits the fan. Which, if you ask me, describes things pretty good. They're not military, they're not SEALs, they're not secret agents, they're people. Coming from the people to help the people. They've been trained to maintain order and public safety in domestic environments under extreme circumstances so people like us are able to do what we do best. They could be anyone. Your neighbor, your dentist, your wife, you name it. All that matters was that someone thought they could do the job when things went to shit. And when they got the call, they dropped whatever they were doing and they hit the streets because that's the kind of people they are. And yeah, I'm about as happy about this as you are. Somebody in D.C. called the Strategic Homeland Division didn't have a lot of faith in people like us. Then again, you look around, maybe planning for something like this was the right idea. Anyway, you meet a division agent, you offer them any and every bit of aid you can, because they're the ones who are supposed to help us get out of this mess. Look, I know we've been busting our butts. All of us. Firemen, cops, animal control, you name it. The whole joint task force has been doing a hell of a job. But sometimes, you gotta call the cavalry. Crisis gets too big. There's just not enough of us to go around. The city needs more than we can give. So, you want the formal language? Here it is. Effective immediately, we will be liaising with the division. Our ops will be run jointly. We will have some autonomy on strategy and implementation, but division agents will have the ultimate authority if it comes to that. Hopefully it won't. You're in the field, you don't need to wait for some division honcho to tell you to pull the trigger. Now I know the next question you're gonna ask because a ton of you have already asked it, which is what happens to them when this is all over? I know you're worried that maybe we get through this thing and these division types are going to be running things from then on. The good news is you can relax. According to the directive, once the immediate crisis passes, they're deactivated and they go to hell home. They're not taking over New York, they're not replacing us, they're here to do a job and get the fuck out. Because they got lives and families they want to get back to. For right now, 
worrying about what happens when we beat this thing is pissing into the wind. We gotta beat it first. And we're gonna need these division types help to do it. So, the first wave of agents has been activated and I know some of you have seen them in the field. How many are coming? I got no idea. How many waves? Same thing. As many as they got, I hope. But it's not up to me. You are encouraged to talk to them, get to know them, and most of all, find a way to work with them. Build a relationship. They may be feds, but they're also New Yorkers. We're all in this together. Where does this Directive 51 thing leave us? Doing our damn jobs. You're still gonna be on the streets. You're gonna be helping people. You're gonna be doing the same thing you've been doing. In the op centers, people like me will be playing advisory roles. We're gonna fall under the vision authority, but if that's what it takes... Look, we've been through this before. 9-11, Sandy. Fed stepped in because we needed him. Things get bad enough, that's what happens. We don't have to love it, but we do have to do it. Some of you might be old enough to remember the old dark winter exercise when the feds tried to simulate what something like this would look like. Turns out they predicted this shit show pretty accurately. That's what got Directive 51 written in the first place. Now we get to live with it. Hey bro, it's me. Sorry I couldn't pick up. I was hanging out with that girl I told you about. Vanessa. And yes, when I say hanging out, I mean exactly what you think. That's all you get. A gentleman doesn't kiss and tell. Anyway, thought I'd check in, see how my nephews are doing. Mom keeps leaving voice messages asking me when I'm coming home for the weekend. Can you please explain to her that busy college students have to spend weekends studying? She might actually buy it coming from you. Gotta run to class. Call me back. Later. Hey, Dano, it's me. I know, I know, but things got a little hectic. My social essay took longer than expected, and then Vanessa got sick, and, you know, I wanted to bring her chicken soup, stream Gosling movies with her and stuff, be the doting boyfriend. You gotta get into the city and meet her sometime soon, man. But not this week. She's still sick as a dog, and a thing seems to be going around. Wouldn't want you taking a bug home to the boys. Anyway, tell Mom I'm sorry, and I promise to get out to PA for the holidays, okay? You're the best. Later. 我現在發現他的那個字幕這邊啊,不是又不是那個文章,是說他不是也超了,而是也爆土欸。Uh hey Danny, it's it's me. Um well, uh, you probably heard about what's going on. They're still saying flu, but I don't know. I think it was the ER again last night. It was bad. She had a fever of 103. She was hallucinating and well, yeah. They kept her in this time. I I'm not family, so they won't tell me anything. I don't think they know anything anyway. But I'm still fine. Make sure you tell mom. But it's getting weird. So many people are getting sick. The hospitals can't handle it. When they're setting up clinics in the parks and shit, it's fucked up. I'll try you later. Hey, big brother. It's Joel. I, uh... Vanessa died. That's gotta be the most fucked up thing I ever said. A month ago we were sexting and comp lit this morning. They, they wouldn't let me see her. I told them her family's in Hong Kong. They know the airports are shut down. Jesus, this all happened so fast. I don't know where she is, Danny. I don't know what they did with her. Her... Um... University campus classes. Bridges, tunnels, everything's closed. I'm stuck here. Tell Mom I'm fine. I'm not, but I... 
I'm not sick at least. Call me. Please. Danny, uh, got your voicemail. The cell service is hit and miss these days. Like everything. Power comes and goes. You don't find a, a place to sleep before dark, nobody lets you in. Too afraid you're bringing a disease with you. Those nights, I ended up in a hallway somewhere. We're sleeping in an alley under a cardboard box, like some kind of bum. It's fucking cold in this city, you know? Like, I, I knew it was, but when you can't get away from it, you realize it is a lot colder than you think. Nobody's got spare food. I'm running out of ramen. Don't know what I'm gonna do when that happens. Mom's gonna be fine, Dano. Yeah, I'm sure it's something else. It's Joel. Don't know if these things are getting through. Tell Mom... I love her. Tell her I'll be home soon. Dress it up however you have to. Just just make sure she believes it. I don't want her lying there thinking. I'm hungry at hand. Jesus, I'm hungry. I need a fucking pigeon raw if I could catch one. The Sarah people were handing out MREs, but they didn't have enough, and people started getting rough. I didn't, but you know, I, I can't blame them. Hunger, it gnaws at you. Like your brain's eating itself from the inside out. I lied. I got rough. But I got something to eat. You don't need to call me back. 所以他也變成暴徒了 Got your message Thanks I'm glad It was quick I guess I wish I could have seen her before Dan Today I saw these guys on the street Standing around this old man They wanted his suitcase They didn't know what was in it But they wanted it anyway And he Didn't want to give it up So they knocked him down And started kicking him Hard until he passed out. Danny, I was one of them. Get out of town. All right, put the boys in the car, go to the lake, and take Dad's shotgun. The three of you can live there for months. Do it, Danny, before it's too late. Dan, you stop leaving messages. Why'd you stop leaving messages, Dan? I have news. Tons of things to tell you. I'm doing better. Found some folks to hang with. The right crowd. Strength in numbers. We take what we want, who we want, when we want. We eat every single day. Darwin, man. These are my people. We're gonna survive. You're never going to hear this. It's going to live on an NSA server somewhere in Nevada, like the nuclear waste they bury in the desert with the cockroaches nothing can kill. Soon we'll all be gone. The cockroaches will rule the earth. Good fucking riddance. So, 那乔尔大概说不定已经被我毙了吧暴徒的其中一个那我们今天的资料就到这边喜欢的话可以帮忙按喜欢分享出去订阅我们的频道获得最新影片的资讯谢谢大家的收看拜拜